welcome to my Lassius Niger care guide. They're a very easy species to keep, one of the excellent species for beginners along with Lassius flavus. Uh, you can find them in most countries around the world, they're really prominent. Um, they're very hardy, they, um, that's another reason why they're excellent for beginners because if you do make a mistake, which most ant keepers do at the start, they're very resilient, so they can come back from it. Um, Diet-wise, um, they need they enjoy quite a bit of sugar. Um, you can also give them fruits such as apples and pears. They're quite popular with them. Um, the larvae will need protein obviously and this comes in either fruit flies, mealworms, crickets um, also you can give them ham and, and cooked chicken and stuff like that if you can't get hold of feeder insects um, temperature wise they like it from 20 to 27 degrees celsius and um, they do well in room temperature um, but Lassius niger like most species do enjoy a bit of heat so either a heat mat or cable just near the test tube not you know not touching it or like that because test tubes can act like a, a greenhouse so you need to be careful with that um, it's a little bit easier if they're in a formicarium um, formicarium wise uh, I'd probably recommend Whitong since they are obviously the black ants so they show up really well on white on. Um, second best to that is probably acrylic. Um, they do hibernate, um, which is when you do hibernate them, you need to be at five to ten Celsius. And the um, the hibernation period is. From October to around March time, um, yeah, moisture as well. Moisture in the nest is probably 10 to 50 percent. Obviously, there's a big difference. So, like I said, they're, they're very hardy. Um, I'm probably saying between 10 to 50 is ideal. I personally keep mine at about 40 percent when they're in a former carrier. Obviously, now in the footage you can see that my my this current colony, colony is in um, a test tube, which is the best at the start. Probably until the get around, well, more workers are better, to be honest. So when it starts to get hard to um, feed them, you know, when they start trying to run out and stuff like that, then obviously that's time that you need to either have a, attach an arena to the test tube or just put them in a, a formicarium. Um, but yeah, the longer you keep them in a test tube, the better because um, the queen will need a fair few workers to be able to move easier because obviously they do most of the work. Um, obviously, if you've only got a few workers, then the queen's going to struggle. Um, so yeah, more the better. I'd probably say uh, if I was going to pick a number, I'd probably say at least 20 workers is safe to move them to a, a farm carrier. Obviously, ideal. Ideally, the smaller merrier, so probably around 40 to 50. Like I said, until it gets difficult to feed them and stuff like that. Um, yeah, they're an excellent species for beginners. Um, distribution wise, um, they're found throughout Europe, in parts of North America and Asia. Um, so, yeah, they, they're all over the world, to be honest. You, Whoever's watching this video, more than likely they'll have them in their country. Here in the UK, they're really common, probably one of the most common species, along with Flavus as well. Um, nuptial flights is around July, August, in in Europe anyway. Um, and probably um, around June and September as well. So it's normally after a rainstorm when the ground is moist because obviously it's easier for the queens to dig and make the um, finding chamber um, 
they're a very aggressive species so they're quite fun to watch um, to be honest I don't think they get as much appreciation as they should because they are a very interesting species it's just because they're so common people just don't you know, think to get them they just think they're a boring species but when they get to a quite a big colony it's fun to um, you know watch them taking proteins and stuff like that because like I said they're very aggressive um, yeah um, they can't bite people another reason why they, they, um, they're good for beginners because the mandibles aren't strong enough because they're only a small ant Yeah, um, protein jelly is also good for food. I found um, it's a good substitute if you haven't got um, feeder insects and stuff like that. It's um, it's, a, it's a good substitute, but obviously I wouldn't recommend doing it all the time, feeding them it all the time. Um, another thing with heating, um, only heat like say if they're in a form carrier, only heat a certain part of the formicarium so they've got a gradient so they can pick and choose so if a certain part is too hot they can move and escape the heat obviously if you heat the whole formicarium if it does get too hot then you're essentially just cooking your ants um, but yeah I'd recommend them to everybody to be honest um, you can see in the footage in the centre just above the queen there's um, a newly hatched worker um, that's why it's all pale and obviously the other ones are darkened up so give it a couple of days and it'll probably be as black as the other ones it just needs to harden its uh, exoskeleton at the moment I'm moving these from a dirty test tube to a new one um, I'm guessing there's probably around 12, 15 workers in this test tube um, so yeah I'm, like I said I'm going to try and keep them in the test tube for as long as I can um, at the moment it seems okay feeding them and stuff like that they're not trying to run out too much um, but yeah I'll show you the other test tube that they're coming from so you can see the difference and why, you, well, why I'm moving them you can see all the uh, mould on the cotton and stuff like that and it's pretty dirty so yeah they're currently moving all the pupae and stuff to the new form again, uh, new test tube. So there's a queen, she's moved. And also the water reservoir is getting quite low and the water is quite dirty as well to be honest. So, you know, it's it's about time. Obviously if you do leave it and it gets really bad the mould can kill the uh, larvae and pupae and obviously the ants just won't do very well. So that's the reason why I've moved them. Right, that'll be it for this video. Um, I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please like and subscribe. It means a lot. Um, obviously, this channel only just started, and I'm trying to put as much effort as I can into it, especially around these <coughs> times of, you know, with all the coronavirus and stuff like that. And I'm sure everyone's in the same boat. It's just nice to have something positive, and which is this for me. Um, so I hope everyone else gets a bit of positivity from it and um, gives them something to do while they're at home in isolation and, and what have you. Well, yeah, thank you very much for watching, guys, and I'll be sure to do another care spe species care guide on my other colonies. So thank you very much for watching if you're still here. Um, see you later.